All right, so we got Craig Mac Dad over here working out with the money team. You know what I'm saying? We got his professional workout buddy right here that's going to get him ready for this Crit Mac fight, man. Okay, um, everybody don't even think that I know you personally. Do um, you want to let these people know where, how I met you, how close we oh, is and man. shit so they can stop capping and shit, shut the fuck up real quick? That's my niece. I, I've been up here two and a half years. I met her as soon as I got off the plane. She brought me into her fold and told me we locked in. I love us. I mean, like, she come to my home. We eat together. We poop. We fry together. We lie together. We cry together. That's my niece. We blood. Self-explanatory. She wouldn't be here if she wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I appreciate that. That shit mean a lot. So a lot of people have been asking me. I know you heard this a lot, but are you really Crip Max Daddy? Or are you just faking the funk? What the fuck going on? What's I can't, going never, on with that I can't never fake the funk. He definitely my son. He definitely my son. How he, he not? You know what I'm saying? He ain't proving that I ain't. You know what I'm saying? He won't take the DNA test, and he won't step up to the ring and make me not his father. So of course I'm his dad. Yes, sir. I'm his dad. Who are you dad? I'm Crip Mac dad. Goddamn Crip Mac, you. So another question I got is a lot of people feel like you paid the limousine driver 80 bucks, 50 bucks real quick just to do a little eight second clip and shit. A lot of people feel like you broke out here and shit like that, but I'm gonna let you explain that situation. Man, I stay in a big pretty house. The limousine, the limousine driver is my partner. I don't have to pay him nothing. He gonna pick me up, take me around as I go. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I stay in a big pretty house. I got everything I need. I ain't rich and I ain't poor. I ain't never said I was rich, but I'm a gangster. That's what I told y'all. Yes, sir. So yeah, that's that. You know? So I want everybody to kind of understand so we can clear up a lot of allegations that's been going on with the snitching shit everybody feel like you were snitched because of the 99 thing where the murder thing happened and shit like that i want you to give your side about that so that way we can just kind of scratch that shit off and everybody understand what we're talking about where you coming from with that shit in 1999 i caught a case i went down by myself nobody with me no co-defendants nobody from chicago no indiana i went down by myself a rap group came in two years later after I went to jail in the federal system and said I could kill somebody. No, I didn't kill nobody if that's what y'all trying to get to. When they said that I killed somebody, I went back and flipped the script and said, did he tell you that we cooked the key of cocaine since he trying to say I killed somebody? And that's what got me out that situation. They mind in my business and I mind at their business. You know what I'm saying? And I stand on that. Yes, sir. And I've been talking about this for the last 22 years. Clear in the federal system, state system, and all the gangsters around the world. Yes, sir. So, some people feel like you're not able to go back in your hood in Gary, Indiana because of the snitching allegation. So, are you able to go back in your hood? Are you still cool with your, you know, your people on the set? Like, what's up with that? Go to Brookshire Mafia, and you'll see me all in my neighborhoods and everybody else's neighborhood as the boss. You know what I'm saying? As the boss. Go to Brookside Mafia, look up the videos. All my shit is proof on the internet. Me straight out the feds in 2009, in the hood from 2009 to 2000, what I come, 2020. I'm the boss in Gary, Indiana. Simple as that. You don't see nobody coming on the internet playing games with me. I'm the real deal. Yes, sir. A lot of people feel like you need to stay at home, be a good dad. A lot of people feel like you're a good dad, but they also, a lot of other people are talking about how you putting your kids in the situation. How do you, how do you respond to that? Man, I, I, I respond to that, man. Hey, fans talked about Jesus, man. They talked about 50 Cent. They talked about the game. They talked about Snoop. They, you know what I'm saying? The whole world, man, they talked about Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? They talked about everybody, man. Shout out to Mayweather, man. Shout out to Bob, shout out to Steve for the Mayweather team, man. Get behind me and bless me and let me do my thing. You know what I'm saying? So always much love and respect for TMT. I'm affiliated. Yes, sir. Do you feel like you're putting your kids in a risky situation by putting them out publicly, publicly on a camera and whatnot? Never. My kids is, is covered by the mighty God. Can't nobody do nothing with us, man. When, when God involved, can't nobody stop us. So yeah, that's what, that's what we said. Something that you can give to young people that's in the trenches, that's trying to do better for themselves. Make sure you tell your, your, your big homies, 
telling you to go gang bang, go shoot, go rob, go do this and that, that ain't no big homie. That's your enemy. If your if your big homie ain't telling you to go be a police officer, a judge, a fireman, or uh, the president, or something of that nature, then you with the wrong homie. You know what I'm saying? We need to get our people in position. That's what y'all need to understand. Put it in y'all parents, tell y'all to put your pants down, sag your pants, do this, do that. They make the right parents and they make the right homies. If they ain't telling you to get in position, then you with the wrong people. Yes, sir. All right, honey, before we wrap this up, a lot of people been asking or been making statements that you've been dodging Cartoon 53 and he been offered a fade, but you're not trying to take it. And now they see that Crip Mag not trying to fuck with you. And you could have been fought a big cat. So why you didn't just take the fade with Cartoon 53 when Crip Mag was locked up and make a statement on that? Uh, you know, I had a thing with uh, uh, Crip Mag. So I wanted to make sure that I get that took care of before I went to Cartoon 53. But in the meantime, when Crip Mac got out and I started seeing the Fugazi, I was going to, you know, bring it to uh, Cartoon 53. But I have gained a neutral respect for Cartoon 53 because he a gangster, just like me, and real recognized real. Cartoon 53 came on uh, uh, the Global Network and said that, man, he don't even want to fight me no more. And I respect that, you know what I'm saying? For whatever his reason was. It wasn't a bad reason. He didn't give me a bad reason on why he didn't want to fight me no more. I took it as neutral respect. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to fight uh, uh, Cartoon 53 because he, you know, I, I look at him as a real gangster. You know what I'm saying? I don't know him, but his spirit is strong, just like mine. So now I ain't no fight with Cartoon 53 unless he called me out. Now if he called me out, I ain't gonna stern down no fade. And that's on the motherfucking fight fight Korea. So, but I, I, I don't see no good fight. I'd rather do an interview with uh, uh, Cartoon 53 and we try to do something together. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Cartoon 53 and he picked me up at the toilet, the little doo doo at the toilet. And he blessed my, my platform. So shout out to Cartoon 53. Yes, sir. Okay, I respect that. Um, if, have you and Mama Bear, besides y'all giving birth to y'all son, have y'all been having intimacy since y'all recently hooked back up with all the videos we've seen on YouTube and shit lately? Man, I ain't gonna make no, I'm gonna let Mama, be, Mama, Mama Bear do all her interviews. I don't wanna speak for Mama Bear. Mama Bear's a genuine, beautiful lady always been a beautiful genuine lady since i've known her you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm gonna let her do her talking but if she not whatever y'all want to book her for an uh, interview i can't speak for mama bell shout out to mama bell yes sir when's the next time you're gonna have an interview with the gangster terrence williams man shout out to my brother terrence gangster williams man appreciate him man put me on this platform man i got nothing but love and respect for gangster you know what i'm saying I, I'm talking about tall respect for gangsters. You know what I'm talking about? Like, and, I, and he's a real gangster. You know what I'm talking about? Simple as that. Y'all niggas can call it what you want to call it. I know one thing for sure, two things for certain. You run up on me, going to do you something. Yes, sir. I seen that you had an interview with uh, Bobby Brown's brother. Yes, yeah, so Brown. Is he going to pull you back up in another interview with that part? He said well, he's going to have you get another response after Crip Mac and whatnot. Respond back to the last, the first interview you did with him. From what I'm hearing, uh, he got some things going on with Mama Bell, Crip Max, 600. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know what's going on. I did what, what uh, he came to ask me to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Shasta Brown for uh, having me on this platform. Good dude. You know what I'm saying? Still so respect to Shasta Brown. Y'all go tune in to Shasta Brown. Y'all tune in to Uno Riz uh, 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 YouTube channel. Make sure y'all subscribe, man. What's up? Are we going to have another session of this boxing match? Or when are we going to have another session for this one where I can pull up? Man, we gonna well, right now for to be a training just in case one of these fools, you know what I'm saying, call me out, uh, uh wanna stand on their business, stand on their crib, crib Mac, he lied on his cripping, uh 600, he lied on his dead homies. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here for business. I'm out here for Gary and the business. I'm a Gary and the representative, and I'm out here for blood. You know what I'm saying? Gun uh, uh gloves up, gun down. You know what I'm saying? Don't call me out if you can't stand on your business. You call me what you want, snitch or whatever, but I'm here to stand on business. Whatever y'all want, wherever y'all call me, I'm pulling up. Yes, sir. Gary and Deanna represent the brotherhood one way. Yes, sir. Are you willing to fight ODM Slim or 600 if they keep talking that shit about you? It ain't, it ain't a soul in California I will fight. As long as it's worth something. As long as it's worth something. I ain't finna just go on the ring playing no games with no nigga. You know what I'm saying? Gotta be worth something. Right now, I want to fight Crip Mac or Brick Baby. You know what I'm saying? That's the two people I want to fight. If they pull up, I doubt if they ever pull up. All right, speaking about Brick Baby, I seen that you did a little diss about him for dissing uh, FBG Mama Duck. 
How, um, what's your relationship with FBG Mama Duck? Man, you know, they from Chicago. I, I, you know, I'm from Guaranyana, but I represent Chicago too because I come up on the west side with the, with the Travelers, uh, Tiger and shit, uh, uh, Charles Scott out of uh, out West Coast, uh, uh, Tiger, big old solid, big old T. You know, I've been out there since I was 14 years old, you know, so you disrespect Mama Duck, you know what I'm saying? Like you disrespect Gary Nana too, you know what I'm saying? We family, we from Shadda T.I. We sleep right inside of Chicago, you know what I'm saying? We sleep right inside of Chicago. So, yeah. I, uh, he disrespect Mama Duck, so he disrespect me. Shout out to Mama Duck, man. Yes, sir. Do you plan on doing any more songs? I seen that you dropped the uh, Thug Tears. Yeah, Thug Tears. Recently, and that shit Black. almost hit about... uh. Yeah, Fuck Her Mac was a banger, man. I think that shit hit about 20,000 views on yeah. Status Update. Shout out to Kyle. Um, the Thug Tears hit about 3,000. I see you doing movement. Um, what's going to be the next song? Are you planning on dropping yeah, any I'm dropping song another, next? I'm, I'm dropping another diss song. No surprise. I'm finna, diss, I'm finna get on these LA niggas' ass, you know what I'm saying, for uh, being customers and shit, lying on their dead homies and shit like that. And then I got my movie coming out, you know, uh, 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 Brookshire Mafia movie about my life, you know what I'm saying? You can go find my book on Amazon.com, Let the Truth Be Told, by Trayvon Hesselet, The Rise and Fall of a Big Gangster, Stacey Brookshire. Yes, sir. True story. Yes, sir. Is there anybody you want to give a shout out before we end this interview? Up? I want to shout out West Stu, Damon Dash artist. I want to shout out Jinx the Rebel. I want to shout out Cal, uh, Statues Update. You know what I'm saying? I want to shout out King Yellow, my nephew for sure. Uh, yeah, they, they don't want to turn me up. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, shout out them boys, man. I want to shout out Sebo, you know what I'm saying, from the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a bunch of them guys, man. They, you know, they turn me up. You know what I'm saying? They say turn down for what? You know what it is. Yes, sir. Where can my uh, fans find you at if they want to subscribe to your channel? Y'all can find me at Messiah the Great, man. Y'all can pull up on me at Messiah the Great and at Stacey Brookshire. At Stacey Brookshire Instagram. Facebook, Stacey Brookshire. I go with my government. Yes, sir. All right, we're going to wrap it up now, man. I appreciate you for uh, doing this interview with me, you know, uh, uh, Got mad respect for you, man. You a vice lord from Gary, Indiana. I respect that shit fully. You know how we coming out here in Vegas and shit like that, man. Like I said, if anybody want to find me, it's Uno Red. Um, and we out this bitch, man. Till next time. Shout out to Las time. Vegas, man. Shout out to Las Vegas. Shout out to Las Vegas. My second home. Yes, sir.